Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Aziz, Seems live. good. Uh, Veltek, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. As is light indeed. Let's continue with Terraria. Wherein, on For the Worthy, we've killed and farmed Duke Fishron. So it's going to be quite a bit easier for a while. There's still going to be a bunch of stuff that can one-hit kill us. But we can kill it pretty quickly as well. Um, I'm never going to use minor improvements to stats. Let's just sell that. Fungi Bulb Banner could actually be useful. I'm missing damage reduction potion. We're kind of low on certain potions now. Work, work meeting. Okie dokie. Um, oh yeah, I was putting some mushroom torches down. Uh, so now we've got the Tempest Staff. Pretty decent minion for a while. Um, I can get a minion that is weaker but more reliable. Um, by killing the Dread Nautilus. Uh, it can drop a Sanguine Staff and... The bats are very weak, but they're almost like a hit scan. They're and and they'll attack anything at any range. So they're very, very reliable as far as minions go. Dilka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, but I have to say the Tempest stuff, these uh Sharknados, apart from being a little distracting sometimes, uh particularly in the Duke Fishron fight, their projectiles can be a little bit confusing, um, but they are pretty a pretty good mixture of strong and reliable. Um, let's put this away. Farming Duke is a really good way to get these uh, random developer items as well. Um, but more to the point, I finally got the Duke Fish Run wings, which. Give us quite a lot of flight. Uh, and we also move super fast through water. We, we move through water like it's not even there, actually. It's just like the sky. I can't remember if it lets us swim like a flipper or if we can just run out of flight time like this. Uh, yeah, we can... We can technically run out of flight time, but we've got so much of it, uh, it's kind of hard in water for that to be an issue. Alright, so I think... To oh, crap! <laughs> Speaking of things being able to one-shot, I was not prepared for ground level wyvern that I didn't see coming. Koha, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Let me just pick up my money or whatever I dropped. Where did I die? Up here. I don't think I had any money on me. Okay. Uh, I don't have mods for Terraria. Hey Dara, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um, what grappling hook am I using? Tendon hook, that's kind of... I think that's longer than the dual hook. Uh, what should my target be at this point, though, I wonder? For progression, we can go after... Plantera. Oh, I haven't actually killed, um... Uh, one of the mechanical bosses yet, and that being... Oh, let's make a... What is it? Titanium pickaxe? Oh, horn, damn it. Uh... I haven't killed... the frightful mechanical boss. Skeletron Prime. Actually, I should get more hallowed bars. 
but mechanical bosses give us hallowed bars. Adamantite. Surely we can make a pickaxe with this. It's going to need 12, isn't it? Uh, never mind. Auricalcum it is for the moment. Uh, the reason I'm concerned about my mining speed is we're about to do a whole lot. Actually, cake. Give me the cake buff. There we go. So I'm just going to reposition this, even though with Duke Fisher on gear it's going to be pretty easy. Um, I did regret um, building this as high off the ground as I did. Where are my minions? Oh, I made quite a long platform here. Maybe I should just put up with it for the... Skeletron Prime fight? It's not going to be a very long fight, I, th I think. Uh, I really wish I hadn't built this up so high. Let's just move it. We've got, like, several minutes. I don't love that it's sort of acting as a monster farm, either. If I build it a little bit above the ground... Um, maybe monsters will spawn underneath it as well. The only reason I'm building this platform is because the... Uh, in this seed, for the worthy, the Skeletron Prime bombs actually destroy terrain and make a mess of everything. And I don't want that. Especially not make a mess of my base. I would prefer not to. Uh, I wish I could, like, set my speed so that we just don't miss any bricks like that. Maybe if I use... It kind of works. I think I just ran out of cake. Alright, that's a little bit easier. Oh, we need that cake though, give it to me. And I should take a mining potion, I don't think I have one here though. Oh I do, that's more like it. That's more like it. This isn't so much of a chore. There we go. Look at it go. Alright. Not so hard to move if we do it right. And I might even take a builder potion. Let's see, I probably want to build it just a bit above that tree there. Can I just place this? No. I do have a ice rod. This will do. Alright, I don't think I have a builder potion in here. But we could maybe make one? I'm running out of time, 6, uh, 6 p.m. We don't need all night to kill fish, uh, to kill... I almost said fish run. Uh, to kill a mechanical boss. But it helps. We're just gonna nuke it as fast as possible. A mixture of Razorblade Typhoon... Uh, bubble gun, 
if it's coming close to us. And... Were those the only mage spells from Duke? I think they are. So that's pretty much it, because nothing else compares damage-wise at the moment. Uh, where's my laser rifle? Not using it. Oh yeah, I mo moved this over here because I was using guns as well. Oops. And... I guess it would have said uh, a chill goes down your spine already. If we were getting a natural spawn. So we're not too late. Oh yeah, I wanted to build a potion. I probably would have stashed it around here somewhere. I don't know if I've even seen a build a potion this run. Uh, here's one. It's actually really easy to make. 45 minute duration. Do you think that'll be enough? Increased placement speed and range. Fantastic. So now... Uh, it's still not that fast. Oh. What do I have here that increases? There we go. End of creation. Yeah, that helps. Oh, that's actually pretty... It, it's kind of fast, but I still have to be pretty careful about my movement speed. It's not like I have a walk key. But, well, maybe I do. Take off the lightning boots. Nope, that's that's still way too fast. Um, where did where did my lightning boots go? No, uh, top. What if what if I use grappling hook spam? It's gonna take a lot more key presses, but we can go pretty consistently. Continue this over to the left. Yeah, if I if I aim the hook further along, I can get like two or three blocks every key press. That's not so bad. Don't have to spam it super fast. Alright, so this is our so-called arena, fighting, uh, shoot. Uh, just so that we can kill... My brain does not work today. It's too hot. Skeleton Prime, without him wrecking our home. That's definitely faster. I could just control my speed a little bit better. S weapon switching in this game sucks. Alright. Should be more than enough room. Considering we have Duke gear. And it's halfway through the night, but I think we have time. Whoop. Back to spawn. I should get some better potions, but I'm fairly confident this time. Because the fight is not going to be that long. 
Actually, I can. I, I always keep at least one uh, of each of these. If only for quick stacking. So I do have at least one endurance. Po Holy crap, that was... I was going to say very lucky, but no, I did have like four. Or of those fish for ingredients. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. Got my mana potions, auto mana consumption. Let's see, hallowed mage gear. A uh, bunch of menacing and crit, and plus eight defense. All right, I think we're ready. Already got hit. Whoops. I thought I'd be able to, like, dash into him and bounce off him. I really don't need the grav potion, I don't think. Not with Duke Fish Run Wings. Probably should have the minimap with this guy, because we want to be a little bit far away from him. He's already down to 75%. You know what? I'm so used to using grav. And it saves us a bunch of flight time. It's fine. The free invulnerability approximately every 30 seconds certainly helps. Yeah, I should really be using the bubbles when he charges me like that. There we go. That's going to be a bit quicker. Alright, uh, what's the time? 2am? I think we have time to do this again. Uh, where did I put... Mechanical skull... Nope, mechanical skull. Come back. Got to kill him in like two minutes. I think we can do that. Yeah, I think we can kill him in two minutes. And there's those bombs. Absolute pushover. Oh, I'm kind of low in health. I should be maybe not quite that cocky. There we go. And I don't think we'll ever need to kill Skeletron Prime more than twice. Let's see. What do we get from his souls? We've got 62, we need 5 for Naughty Present, uh, Avenger Emblem makes 10. Flamethrower is pretty good, but I th think we've outgrown it. So we could probably skip that. Uh, we need 1 for a Pickaxe Axe, and that's about it, honestly. It's like 5, 10, 31. We have about twice the uh, souls of fright that we'll ever need. All right, let's get our pickaxe axe out with the orichalcum. Sell it. Um, was there something else I wanted from the mechanical bosses? There is, of course, the minecart. Solar Eclipse is ha- oh no. Uh, okay. I guess I'm teleporting up here.
maybe I'll push time forward. I kind of want to beat the solar eclipse at least once. I wasn't intending for this cheese to happen, of course. I was going to dismantle this as soon as the boss fight was done. I was considering getting actuators so that we could switch this entire platform on and off at will, but they're pretty expensive. I think we've got a water candle somewhere. Uh, no, we don't. Alright, why don't I just go somewhere else? Um, where should I go? Not to the Crimson. That would be bad. How about the ocean? It's, uh, nice and flat. Evil Plot, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Really not much of a challenge with Duke gear. Although a bit later on we'll be getting moths and stuff. This is actually a good spot because they the ground-based ones can't do much over here. Love Terra Spark Boots. got like 12 minutes of this to survive. It's very, it, it's quite lucrative though. Could I do a pirate invasion at the same time? Why not? Let's, let's spice it up a little bit. Uh, I believe I've got some pirate maps in here. Gonna have to be careful of the gun users. Because there's gonna be a lot of enemies and I don't have great visibility. Uh, I saw pirates, but we're not getting... We're not getting a pirate's uh, health meter, like boss event. Pirate event health meter. Where did that shark go? There he is. Oh, sharks die faster than I thought. Well, if that pirate map was a waste, we just got one back. It's fine. I think you can get a pirate map from any enemy. Um, if you're at the ocean. Duke Fishrun occasionally drops a pirate map. Pirates are approaching. Oh, cool. I thought I saw some pirates here, though. What happened there? Yeah, 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 we've cleared 4%. Pirates have arrived. That's very weird. That pet is really distracting me. It makes me think there's a... There's an eye chasing me. There goes my invulnerability. Those parrots are overpowered. Watch out for them. They'd probably one-hit kill me on this seed. Good thing I have the shield of Cthulhu. This 
is actually working out pretty well. We get fewer um, uh, solar eclipse enemies because of the pirates. It actually probably makes it safer. That's going to be a Flying Dutchman. Guess what? We have the perfect spell to kill the Flying Dutchman. It's also flying under the water for some reason. Okay, okay that was rude. Where on earth did you come from? That was almost another insta-kill. I find it amusing that the best place to cheese the pirates without building an arena is the ocean. Oh, wow, that just popped into existence right below me. Fastest flying Dutchman kill, let's go. I can see uh, it, the, uh, the cannon shots are very hard to see, but... Most of them aren't getting very close. The pirates have been defeated, I don't think so. I will miss out on some items um, by not killing so many solar eclipse enemies, but they don't drop very good stuff. For the most part. Taking this sweet time. There's our 50th Pirate Jedi. Gotta suppress those guys. them all up, and then Razor Blade will probably do the job. I started using the uh, Unholy Arrows, not just because they're cheap, but I wanted something piercing for casual use of the boat. That a... Oh, it's a cutlass. Here comes our Dutchman. It's really hard to see the projectiles, but I think it basically can't reach me. 
because the cannonballs slow down in the water. There we go. Maybe one more Dutchman. Four more minutes until we don't have to deal with the solar eclipse. Stein attacking again. No more flying Dutchman today, I guess. Unless I do pirates one more time. Don't really feel like it. Just trying to pick up everything here. Bwah, 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 indeed. Just a couple more minutes of this. Oh. Don't know what hit me. Just another minute. Oh, poor shark. Oh, they're doing the thing. Oh, they're really messing up the water here. Why did you leave the door open, sir? My minions were enemies. Not gonna see a single moth tonight, I guess. Do those have to be in the forest or something? Rip golfer. Oh, rip everyone in the ocean. Oh no. Except for the pirate captain. He's vibing. Oh, there's a party that I didn't notice. Alright, solar eclipse is finished? Or is it like 20 more seconds? I think it's 7.30. No, I missed party time. I was going to get it as soon as the solar eclipse finished. It's fine. We've got enough cakes. Alright. Back to base. Before we were so rudely interrupted from inventory management. 
Um, we can now make the minecart upgrade kit. Free mechanical minecart included. Cool, cool, cool. Let's swap this one out. Sell these. Don't really need the relic. Got a few spare shrimpy truffles to sell. And let's do that. Um, actually, let's get rid of... Get rid of our platform before something like that happens again. Damn, the bubblegum really is strong. I wish I had something like this in Ranger flavor. I mean, we do, but it's nowhere near that strong. Um, the Toxic Carp. That's pretty quick. Could, could you be persuaded not to? Thank you. Just right. And we're done ski. Fantastic. Alright, so now that we've done the mechanical bosses, and I think I've made everything that I could want from Hallowed Bars. Um, let's see. Optic Staff is obsolete. Pumpkin Moon Medallion, we'll be needing that. Superstar Shooter is garbage. Just incredibly disappointing. Even if we weren't in a seed where bot, uh, bosses arbitrary, arbitrarily reflect Star Cannon shots, uh, the upgrade to the Star Cannon is just far too weak to bother with by the time you could get it. Um, what else? Nothing, pretty much. I mean, I could make a ranger version. Um, or even a summoner version. For our hallowed armor set, we just need the helmet. There we go. Should probably make another... Mannequin, so we can see where that is. And did I already quick staff all the pirate crap? I don't think so. Gold ring. We already have the coin ring. I think it is a direct upgrade from the gold ring. Increases coin pickup range, plus lucky coin equals coin ring. And that's it. That's the end of that. No, it's not. Uh, greedy ring. We need the discount card. I don't suppose we got it. We did not. 
Probably didn't get the coin gun either. That's pretty hard to come by. Alright, put the pirate things in the gaudy chest. Only so we can quick stack easily later on. Uh, quick stack, nope. Pirate banner. There's too many different types of pirate banner. I'm just going to keep them in here. Pirate dead eye banner. Don't know if that's even related to pirates. Um, Frankenstein banner, sure thing. And what else? Flying Dutchman trophy, don't care. This is getting out of hand. I think I've seen this one. Yeah. Alright. Sell some stuff. Keep the treasure maps. We've actually got 43 truffle worms. Just from casually collecting them since after I got the Duke Fish Run gear. 5.3 platinum. Damn. How much, how much are they individually? 12 gold. So 10 is 1.4 plat. That's a pretty good way to get money. Uh, that's probably the most money I've ever had. 16 plat. Let's just drop it into the safe. We've actually got 22. Uh, you know what? Since we can get money so easily. It's bacon time. Pig art. Holy crap. 2.5 thousand pig granadas. Uh, I wonder how many bacon we'll get from that. I think I need a multi-hook though. And this is a song and dance I've done multiple times. Um... You know what, since I've got 16 diamond gem cons here right now... Let's just grab these real quick. That's only 12. And that's actually just enough for a diamond hook, which I've probably got somewhere. I do. It's fine. I have three diamond hooks now. Whatever. So we need a single hook so that this trick will work. Basically, if we put a pig granada up here, uh, use a regular grappling hook, um, it'll get removed. But we can also... I already got bacon. We can also automatically place this here. Um, and it'll just immediately get removed by the hook. So this is the only way to consistently get uh, major improvements to stats food now. I think it's... Uh, I think it's just the For the Worthy seed. Un unless the wiki wasn't updated or something. Um, I think the seafood dinner, which only gives us medium stats here, uh, that might actually be because of the seed. I'm not sure. I mean, I could check. Why don't we check? Um, master. Doesn't really matter which world. Uh, okay. It 
probably does matter which world if this is an empty world. Unless... It is medium improvements to stats. That's nasty. That That's... That's a really mean-spirited update. Alright. At least it is still possible to get major improvements to stats, but the... The cost... Com the high cost combined with the RNG... Not a fan. It's only tolerable because we can now farm truffle worms ridiculously quickly. Can we get like 20 bacon? And we just got four in a row. RNG is very, very spiky in this game. I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if Terraria has its own thing for random number generation. Or if it's just that I find it more noticeable when I'm looking for something. But I seem to get absolute deserts of whatever I'm looking for and then really ridiculously good luck eventually. Give me the bacon. There we go. Plenty bacon. Um, the other stuff I don't particularly care about. Fletcher Stephen, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm not going to sell the party bullets. It's they're barely worth anything. You know what? I'm not going to use them either. I may as well just buy other bullets that like pierce or go fast and pierce or something. Flask of party is a bit more worth selling. Um, and where should I keep the pig granadas? Maybe in here. Because that's where I've been stashing random foods. Alright, so now we have bacon. Twenty-four minute duration? I thought it used to be No, that sounds right actually. Okay. So our next main goal is Plantera. Which unfortunately means we need to go to the jungle. Um I don't want to go to the jungle. I also sort of need a Medusa, a mirror from Medusa, if we're gonna, if we're gonna finish the upgrade for the shield, obsidian shield. Okay, let's let's go to the jungle. I don't know if... I, well, I was going to say I don't know if Blast Cannon Mage is the best build for this. Uh, more to the point, it definitely isn't. Wait, was that Crimson? Oh, crap. Uh... Can we get some jungle grass seeds over this side? Can, can the crimson spread across here? That's what I need to know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it can. Need to do something about that. Mining potion. That's a bit better. We are not catching a break with the natural barriers.
Does that actually save? No. Not even close. Fun luck, indeed. Alright. Copper seems to have protected this jungle grass down here. And... Oh, holy crap! Fucking... What? Where and when did this spawn? It's a fish. It's not like a turtle jumped down there. I sprayed that entire tiny little section of water. Where was it? Here. I jumped in here, sprayed the entire area with bubbles, and then, like, seven seconds later, got one hit by a... or, or double hit. Uh, two shot by a... fish. What the actual? Sigma Bean? Trotsky? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so dumb. Um, good thing I didn't use any of my good potions yet. But is that going to be safe from spreading corruption? Maybe. Hope so. Minions. And where am I going? Buffs. Alright, we're using bacon. Let's not die. Even though we are a glass cannon, uh, when we're blurry like this, we've got one free hit that we can survive. So if we're careful, we should be fine. Try not to lose it to these little, little grassy things. Oh, there's no way through there. Of course, there's already a turtle there. Bloody hell. waste of my inborn. Hey, life fruit. Let's go. We need 19 more of these to max out our max health. Which can be a bit time consuming to find. This will be a good place to get Medusa. Actually a very good place since they can't come from us from both sides if we stand about here. Although, I think they must need tiles that are not in the water, that are marble. I could be wrong. Oh, we're fine. Okay, normally I would never do this in the jungle, but uh, let's put down a water candle. Jungle stuff doesn't come at you through the walls other than the, uh, you know, the vines, so it's not that bad. I need to move back and forth a little bit more so that some enemies despawn, though. Tattered bee wing? It's just aesthetics at this point. That is a little bit rude. Oh, 
probably put some lights up here. Especially in the big open areas, that would help. Even if we ask, but what is this? Oh, that's the trap chest down there. What size world are you playing on? Large. Is there any... Are there any explosives here? You know what? Why don't I not chance it? I don't want to have to look carefully. Um... There, there they are. I don't want to have to look too carefully while we're watching out for enemies in the jungle. What was that? Anglerfish something? Oh, a banner. There we go. And... One shot. That's... That's our chest. Alright, back to trying to get Medusa to spawn. Turns out this is a pretty bad spot for that, actually. Let's get rid of the water candle. Maybe I should fill my usual... Oh, is that Medusa? It is. Um, okay. A little risky, but... Please give us the mirror. Nope. Unlikely. It's always unlikely. Uh, but yeah, water candles aren't that ex... Not water candles. Um, feast candles aren't that expensive. Maybe I should make a habit of putting them down in the jungle, especially in places that I frequent. Down we go. This could almost be our natural Plantera arena. I wouldn't quite have room to get around her, but on the other hand, we have Rod of Discord this time. Rod of Discord's going to be an, an enormous help. In fact, I could even try lowering Lantera to the sky, where she's actually pretty easy to beat if you have movement gear. It's getting... It's actually getting an enraged Plantera to follow you. Um, all the way to the surface without a uh, killing you or giving up. That's the hard part. If you have a something or other, what is it? I, I can't remember what the item is or if it was only in Calamity. It was probably only in Calamity. Uh, if you have an item to summon Plantera, it's actually quite easy to kill her on the surface. Um, so where am I going? We're looking for bulbs and we're looking for a good place to fight her. I, I, I think this is actually going to be far easier than usual just because of the rod of discord. This area is a little bit promising. And also a trap hooked up to the switch. That's a little bit rude. I believe this is adamantite. Let's grab it. Actually, I guess we're kind of past adamantite, but who cares? Okay. 
Maybe I should start looking on the map for a planter bomb. Can we harvest, uh, clarify it? Yeah, we can. Let's start farming it. I may yet have use for some homing bullets. This whole area might be pretty good for fighting Plantera. It might not be ideal if we didn't have the Rod of Discord, but since we do, I think this is probably more than enough to buy us some time and space between the five second cooldown. Uh, what am I looking for? Whatever I just picked up there. Life fruit. Right, we need 18 more to max out our health. That's a little bit slow. 17 more. That was close. Damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thought you weren't streaming tonight, I'm so happy now. I just wanted to wait a, a bit longer because I'm sick of starting what, when it's really hot. Um, I mean, it's still really hot, but it's not as bad today. Well, by today, I mean it's not as bad three hours later. Just wanted a little break today. Good thing we're face rolling the entire jungle with Duke Fisheron gear. Since I don't know how well I could really concentrate in this heat wave. Alright, um I don't see any Plantera bulbs. Is it possible I've forgotten some condition? I'm pretty sure we just have to kill all three mech bosses, right? And we know we've killed all three mech bosses because we have the mechanical minecart. It was 7 a.m., 0 minutes, and 10 seconds here. T Hex was not live. That means to check Discord announcements, indeed. So OP now, indeed. That's why I like early fish run. Six fifty nine. I pre-type a message into chat, and I appreciate it. Um. Yeah, I really didn't think I'd still... Oh, that's it. No, that's Orichalcum. I thought that was the Plantera Bulb. God damn it. Comes an altar. In before I get one shot while I'm looking. Almost 
just didn't see that spider. Um, you know what? Let me have a look at the map from a safe position. I'm pretty sure once you see life fruit, we can start seeing plantera bulbs, right? Are we just living the nightmare if we were speedrunning? I think that might be it. In which case... Well, I would say in which case I should look for life fruit, but like they're going to be a lot easier to find if I give them time to spawn as well. Hmm. Didn't I have reason to kill Wall of Flesh again? We haven't done a Wall of Flesh with uh, with Duke gear. Let's do it. Alright, down we go to the underworld. To the underworld. And have some cake. I'm not even going to use buff potions. And I'm just going to raise a blade typhoon. We're not even going to go near it. This is kind of like uh, killing it with bees on steroids. Oh yeah, the imps. Still have to be a little bit careful because the imps are absolutely broken. Maybe I should use the bubble gun. Ah, we're already done. We're already done. Alright. What do we get? Another sorcerer emblem. Not really what I'm looking for. Firecrack is pretty good. If I want to summon. Um, I have I have to wait until the guide comes back. Or I can do this again. Need to clear out my inventory as well. Oh, is that our first megaphone? Oh, I know what I could do. I could make some... Yeah, Counter Curse Mantra. Fantastic. Uh, that is indeed our first megaphone, but the other thing I could be doing that's a little bit productive at the moment, if I can remember where I've got mud stashed. There we go. is start a chlorophyte farm. So you need to be at a certain depth for chlorophyte to spread. It spreads into mud blocks. You don't have to be that deep, I'm pretty sure. And the main thing about chlorophyte is the less of it there is around, the more it'll spread. Um, I want to put it in a relatively safe place to harvest. Somewhere nice and easy. Give me some light. And all we have to do when we do harvest it is block swap and leave a little bit left over. And we'll be making a bunch of these down the elevator. Actually, let me put one down here.
since we can often just teleport there immediately. Oh, that's a butterfly. I could try Empress of Light, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be an absolute nightmare. Um, let's put another one over here. Road real quick. Much better. One thing that I find a little bit annoying with Terraria, and I was playing a bit of Skyrim as well, it's the exact same problem. Not that Skyrim's combat is any good, but When it comes to spells, you've got so many different spells, many of which are very situational. Um, you, you've got a spell for every occasion, but you can only have up to 10 hotkey, or in Skyrim's case it's only 8, and you're going to want some other stuff other than spells. Um, but yeah, compared to the sheer number of different spells and like situationally excellent spells that you can use uh you've only got a scant handful of hot keys that you can use it's very unfortunate where else should i put one of these somewhere very accessible um Wow, that, that really is a lot of damage. Okay. Speaking of situational spells, there's the Ice Rod, which is obviously handy for making a block. You can also use it to put a barrier between yourself and enemies that you can also shoot through with it, although it's not the best... It's not the most mana efficient uh, damage spell, but that's okay. When you're holding off a melee enemy with a block that it just can't walk through that you can shoot through, that's pretty good actually. But I can never quite justify a slot for it indefinitely. Anywhere else I want to put this? Maybe up here? A couple of screens away. Oop. That's a good start. That'll grow surprisingly quickly. Uh, and when we want... What is it called again? Chlorophyte. Uh, especially for when we want just some ammo. We can come and get it that way. But for an initial big burst of Chlorophyte or uh, I think we're better off just getting it straight from the jungle. Especially when we're this OP versus the jungle. Oh, 
Okay. What is this game? Perfect. Alright, let's grab some more chlorophyte ore. But we'll need a spelunker potion to do it efficiently. Ooh, that's that's more dangerous than I thought it was. Okay, okay. Okay. Alright. Mining potion would be a good idea. Shoot. That's a lot better. Oh, oh my god, bees. Shoot. Me all that chlorophyte. That is a life plant. Life fruit. Much easier to find with Spelunker Potion. remember what sort of numbers we want for chlorophyte. There's the ranger set that we can make with shroomite, but I don't know if it's really worth to be honest. The hallowed armor invulnerability is just too good. I don't think the shroomite gear is enough of a DPS increase. Uh, to justify giving that up, especially on this seed where things can one-shot us. You can't deal any damage when you're dead. speed. There we go. What? I clicked off screen. Go burr. Light go burr. Life fruit. Let's go. Oh, there's the uh, pyramid. It's green. I've never seen a green dungeon before. We need to kill Plantera to get in there. No, you can't use the Rod of Discord. Do you skip it? There might still be ways to skip, but... Uh, I don't know them for sure off the top of my head. I guess, what is it called? What's that trick called with the hammer? Breaking? Something weird like that. Where you make triangles and you sort of get yourself pushed through the wall. Oh, 
Yoshi. Still haven't seen a single bulb. Oh, that's rude. Freaking geysers. Alright, we should be safe in here, I hope. Let's have a look at the map. Once again, I keep thinking the Orichalcum is a Plantera bulb. Um, don't see anything. I don't know if it can spawn this high up. Stylist has arrived. Hmm. Nothing. You mean a hoik? Yes, a hoik. I thought there was a big open area here, but it's not quite like that. Thank you for the life fruit. Should probably activate some of those. Where are... Oh, six. We need 11 to max out our max health. Oh yeah, I kind of wanted to continue with the spelunking. Um, let's get some inventory space, cake buff. And all the buffs keep going. Major improvements to stats with food also helps with the digging speed. I guess I'll continue to find the edges of this dungeon. Oh, I thought that was a total falling down there. Even though intellectually I knew there wasn't room. That's got to be the... Actually, I don't know if that is necessarily the boss room. It's all the way down to hell. Huh. It's a bit unusual. Grab the Chlorophyte while we've got all these buffs. Fantastic. Ouchie, ouchie, holy shit! What were my minions doing? How, do, how was that thing allowed to attack four times right next to me without getting suppressed? Alright, we've got 386 Chlorophyte Ore. That gives us X over 5. Only 77 Chlorophyte Bars. Whoop! Oh, I did not mean to do that. Well, now we have a... Now we have a Lance that does little gassy farts through walls. Th thank goodness for that. I used a hoik setup to kill Duke Fishron a while ago, indeed. Chlorophyte shot bow isn't the worst weapon, but we've already got Tsunami. I'm pretty sure there's no reason to make anything except for Chlorophyte bullets out of Chlorophyte. 
Unless we want to make shroom, uh, shroomite. In any case, the, uh... Where did I put it? Uh, the thing I just made is an absolute waste. Oh, there it is. Let's just sell it. Even if I did go melee, this would not be my favorite weapon. Uh, I don't have anywhere to quick stack mud right now. Let's put it in the same chest as Chlorophyte so that we know where to find it to do the farm. Cat boy cutie cloud, Alceris, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, and let's sell this other stuff. Get it out of my sight. Uh, I might use that for dye. I had to go out of my way for some... Well, I was going to go out of my way for some green dye, but it turns out the teal dye looked better. For the fish run looking outfit. Speaking of which... Butterfly dust. Um, that's for wings, right? Magic dagger is not as good for selling as I remembered. Let's see. Butterfly wings, yes. And there's our dyes. Don't think I need more teal. And I think I liked the look of this in the vanity slots. A little better. Yeah, that's pretty good. It was back when Duke would do nothing but dash through you while enraged, so I used a hoik setup to get away from the ocean fast enough, then used Sergeant United Shield's parry mechanic to parry him to death. Do you really need the hoik for that, though? Or were you, like, using the hoik to rush at him quickly so it was easy to time it? Or something. Oh, hey, uh, we could do a Blood Moon. Let's get Dreadnought Dreadnoughtless. Should be pretty easy at this point. Uh, Hell Forged, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I need some chum caster to increase the odds of fishing up something nasty. Like that. This thing actually has a lot of health. Like, a lot of health. Nothing very exciting from that. Should probably use the sonar potion here. So we know what we're fishing up. Zombie merman. That's pretty hard mode. Not, nothing to worry about really. Wandering eye fish is also pretty hard mode. <laughs> oh, I need some minions. I should probably start letting these go. 
In fact, I'm not really interested in anything but Red Nautilus, as far as I can think of. This is a warm-up, though. What do we get? MRX. I don't remember if... Oh, is that a... Ham axe? It is. We got a stronger ham axe, I guess. Although it's not a light source. Wow. Greetings. How forged. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, this is the thing that we actually want to kill. Where is it? There it is. Okay, that's a little rude. Oh, Shield of Cthulhu can actually deflect a hit from it even if you're dashing away from it. No, it's going to leave. No. No. <laughs> it was on like 10% health. We ran out of time. Uh... That's so rude. If I just used the bow from range, maybe I could have killed it in time. Okay. Well, I can't try that again until night time. Let's put the extra chum caster in here. Sort out my crap inventory, redo some buff potions. I think I've already got, yeah, I do have a possessed armor banner over here. I really don't like possessed armors, though. Probably, probably my least favorite enemy in the game, out of enemies that aren't much of a threat. Uh, life crystals are going to turn into hot lanterns. That's a lot of options. Here we go. Kate Canap Canapa God, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And 150% axe power. It's barely better than the molten ham axe. Actually, that's pretty bad. That's really bad for the risk of blood moon fishing. Alright, sell that. Barely worth anything. And that's our inventory sorted. Uh, I do need to fish up some damage potions, damage reduction, plus life. isn't growing all that fast actually. It is a bit random, so some of the other blocks might have uh, already grown significantly faster than that. We got off to a good start with two prismites. Oh, I wasn't even wearing fishing gear. Whoops.
Uh, Shiverthorn takes a very, very long time to bloom on average, I have to say. Pool slime has arrived. Can we please get some more prismite? I've even got a gnome here for luck. There we go, four prismite. Can we at least get five? do we have in here? Uh, the minimum. Okay. So that's life force potions. We didn't even get any extra. That's unfortunate. Eight life force potions. Um, can sell these. Put this over here. Anything in the void bag? Nope. I didn't get any armored cave fish either. That's very unfortunate. Heading down to our other fishing spot. Hemo Piranha is, I believe, what we're looking for. Crimson Tigerfish gives us heart reach potions. They're incredibly common. Heart reach isn't that great, but better to have it than not. That's our third blade tongue. This is going pretty well. One more hemo. One more hemo. One more hemo. One more hemo. One more hemo, come on. Nope. Nope. My inventory is going to fill up. I mean, we've got the void bag, but it's just a little bit annoying. There we go. Alright, so we should get at least a couple of damage potions. This is actually just crit. Stochastically, it's the same... About the same DPS increase. Um, let's go put the... Crates in there. Sell this stuff. And... Should be easy enough now that we've got Duke gear. Uh, maybe not actually. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Careful. I think I will do this on the surface. A little bit safer.
There's our hallow fishing spot. Not really interested in that right now. We can just do that at the underground hallow anyway. Here's our spot. Can I stand here actually? Not if I don't want these guys to spawn. Actually, didn't I... I'm pretty sure I removed Hallow from here so that corruption would spread further to the right. But the Hallow just randomly spread faster. And we're still... it's still close enough to get a bunch of pixies spawning. But not as much of a nuisance with our minions. As it was before. So we're looking for Ebonkoi, which is... There we go. A little bit rarer than I would like, but not too bad. And these give us plus 10% damage from potions. something in this chest. Oh yeah, the uh, spider stuff. We have a little sentry. Might be able to advance that uh, Eternia crystal event now, actually. Couple more ebb and koi would be nice. I didn't realize it shot little spiders. That's actually pretty good situationally, like here. Still only got three Ebon Koi out of this so far. Alright, that's four. And why don't we... I'll wait a little bit longer on opening crates. Um, don't really need an Eater of Souls banner. Wait, can't we quick stack that? No, nope, apparently not. Why is the Dryad here? Oh no. The Dryad didn't die, did she? What? What the? Why? What the hell is the stylus doing there? So the nurse kicked out the Dryad. The guide is here instead of back at home. The Dryad is in in the guide's room. And why is the nurse here? Uh, it's not because corruption has spread. Did the nurse and the arms dealer have a fight? Why do we have the zoologist here? What is going on? And where's the nurse in all of this? I actually want the zoologist... oh my god. Oh, here's the nurse. 
Okay. Really? Is this legal? Wait, is which legal? Sorry, I'm a bit late on that one. Doodly doo doo. Uh, I gotta be really careful moving through the jungle, especially at night. One random turtle could one shot us. Okay. So, zoologists can go here. Who's this? The stylist? And are we short on houses or something? I don't think so. I wonder what's going on. re-up some of our potions. Mana region. Magic power. Um, iron skin. Heart reach is doing fine. That's all we can do for life force and rage. Ebon koi. We've actually got 11 spare. Fantastic, that's better than I thought. So... That was pretty lucky. Out of 11 Ebon Koi, we got 17 Wrath Potions. Now it's Rage that's fallen behind. Um, We don't have any Armored Cave Fish. These other ones are pretty much okay. We never ever need a flipper potion ever again. Uh, since we've got fish run wings. Maybe we'll end up using some other wings eventually. Uh, so yeah, armored cave fish. Let's go get some. And we can get them right here. As a matter of fact. Apparently we can only fish up jellyfish. One armored cave fish, two, two armored cave fish. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Three. It's going pretty well, actually. Can we get a fourth? There we go. That wasn't so bad. Whoops. Can't break that habit of trying to re-up all of those buffs, even though it's only the cake that has a finite duration now. Okay, how's our Plantera bulb spawn looking? Can we get a Plantera today? 
in before there's something different about the seed, how this is done. Still not seeing any bulbs. Um... No. Well, we'll give it a bit more time and then we'll maybe go get some life fruit. Um, I could do another wall of flesh. Where did I put the rest of those guide voodoo dolls? Uh, I guess I can find out this way. Apparently I... Did I drop like six guide voodoo dolls? When I summoned the wall of flesh last time? Oh no. That's really unfortunate. I don't think we need buffs for this fight. Right, how about some cheap buffs? And I do mean some cheap buffs. I love how the uh, Razor Blade Typhoon just turns around to find the imp. That's very helpful. There we go. Alright. Did we get anything new? Clockwork Assault Rifle and Warrior Emblem. So, actually, yes. If I really want to double down on damage, I could use the Spare Emblem and make a Avenger Emblem. It's like 12% more damage, but it's class agno agnostic. Clockwork Assault Rifle is pretty nice at the start of hard mode, but utterly useless to us at, to us at this point. Wait, I want to check something now that I think of it. Nope. I thought maybe Clockwork Assault Rifle would give us high velocity bullets, but no. It's fine. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to do to pass a little bit of time. And see how this goes. One Eternia Crystal. I don't know where I put the Eternia Crystal stand, actually. Oh, it should be in here. Yes. And I guess we'll grab Ballista Rod. Um, do I have another flat area I could use for this? Not really. Old One's army is approaching. This is actually one of the few times that I'll bother with a summoner potion. So I'm thinking before Plantera, uh, we probably still only have to beat level 5 to unlock the sentries at all times. 
which can be a nice, uh, nice little help when we're fishing. You could also use the, uh, the lightning sentry to reveal, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like gaps underground. So we're not really worried about it at this stage. But early hard mode, much nicer. I don't think we're going to have too much trouble beating wave 5 this time. out for the flying things. a little spooky. Useless sentries. Those flying things really do have a lot of health though. I think there's more. I see wings, which means I have to go protect this from flying things. that enemies have stopped spawning, not that we've uh, cleared it. It's 
So I'm guessing we're going at least to wave 10. I've never actually done it before... Like, after hard mode, but before Plantera. He's got a lot of health. I think I got slowed. This is actually getting a bit silly. I think we win. Wave 7. Fantastic. And for that we only get 15 Defender Medals. Uh, so let's see. If we want... Only the second tier of... Uh, sentries. We gotta clear that entire thing to get one of them. If we want the... I think it's only the lowest tier of summon and damage plus sentries plus ranged mage melee slash health stuff melee and or health stuff. I think this one's more of bruiser this one. Um, but yeah that's actually 15 defender medals for one set. It does have a little more defense than the Hallowed, judging by the helmet. But uh, the main thing with the Hallowed is being able to no-sail one shot every once in a little while. I can't remember what the set bonuses look like for these, but they're a little underwhelming. And that's coming from me who loves hybrid gear. There's only like two hybrid sets in the whole game that are decent. 20% increased summon and ranged damage. 10% chance to save ammo. 20% increased damage isn't too bad. Range crit by 10... 10% increased summon damage. Of course, you don't get any plus minion slots with these things either. Oh, maximum num... No, 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 no. I thought it at least had plus one minions. But no, it's one more sentry. Which you mostly never use. You do get some ridiculous life regeneration with the Squire set. If you're looking for a gimmick build. Alright. How about a Plantera? Couldn't possibly be a bulb sitting on top of the hive. Life crystals. I should probably pick those up so I stop binding them over and over when I'm looking for a bulb. Is this it? Yes. Okay, that's not in the most comfortable starting position, but... With Rail and with the Rod of Discord, I'm sure we'll manage. Um, it's actually pretty close to one or two of the arenas that I wanted to use. That's probably fine, actually. Let's go get it before the Crimson spreads over there. Um, and let me just put this back. Oh, I forgot I painted this. 
I wasted the paint. Whatever. You know what? No. No whatever. Give me some yellow paint. And a paintbrush. And I'm just going to sell the paintbrush back because... I don't need one more thing to keep track of with inventory management. It's not that expensive. What's this? Sleepy Octopod. Charges power as it's swung to smash enemies. 61 melee de Oh, this thing. It's rather awkward. Does it block enemies with that twirl, though? At least. That's a lot of mana stars. Yeah, it does. Still kind of weak, I think. Considering what you get it from. Why can't I find another enemy to test this on? That's a face. Was he underground? He was underground. Right there, there's one. So if you can hit it with the last part, it does a lot more damage, but that's hardly worth the effort. Okay, I'll just chuck that in the collection, I guess. Along with five health eyes. Um, so one of the nice things now that we've beaten the Eternia Crystal just once is we can use these sentries anytime we want. The Lightning Aura one is actually a light source that you can reach through walls with. And obviously this is going to be a little bit better... Especially the second tier one. You know what? I might even try it. Where did I put my defender medals? Oh. I guess they were somewhere in my inventory. Ballistic Cane, 91 summon damage. It's probably going to be a little bit better. For fishing, then... The very derpy uh, spider sentry thing. Um, and after this little demonstration, we'll maybe go get some more life fruit and prepare for Lantera. It just occurred to me that I have a faster way to get to this fishing spot. Oh well. Do -do -do -do. Alright, so if we put this, say, here... Of course I had to fly over here at night, or it's going to be a lot harder to see this working. But work it does. See if we can get away with some fishing at night. Uh, 
that's what I'm looking for. And again, Evan Koi, fantastic. All right, I think we get the idea. Uh, is that another warrior emblem, or was that the first one? Either way, I'll stash it here, I think. Can go there. Anything in the void bag? Quite a lot, actually. Increases your max number of sentries by one, summon damage by 10%. I think there's a version of this for every class from Dungeon Defenders. So you could go pretty ham on sentries if you really want to. I'm not sure why you would. Actually, maybe I should do a gimmick run where we try and kill everything with sentries. Oh, Tome of Infinite Wisdom. That's supposed to be really good. Um, I thought it had a secondary fire. Right click to cast a... Pe yeah, it does, but if I'm holding it like this, that doesn't work. Okay. Uh, okay, I wasn't expecting it to go through the wall like that. That's pretty handy. I think this also pierces. 55 magic damage as opposed to 51 for the laser. It's not that good, except this doesn't pierce. I think against segmented enemies like, um, like a worm boss, though, I think it's trying to go up to the surface. And if we're on the surface, yeah, it does something like this. So like the destroyer, for example, I think this is supposed to deal tons of damage to that. Give it a try. Um, I need to get this thing re-rolled if we're going to give it a fair chance. Oh, it's quite cheap. Celestial? No. Nope. Godly? We can get gold so easily now. Let's try and get Mythical. There we go. It's not very mana efficient. Alright. Ancient Shadow Helm. Not really going to try and collect those. What's a flick flicker wick? Oh, this thing. And that will do for now. Alright. Let's figure out before we get there what buffs we're using in the jungle. All the cheap stuff. Hunter potion. I've got plenty of wrath, but I don't want to use wrath in there. And magic. Can I go this way? No, I can't see anything. Ooh, that was... That was close. I wonder if I can use the invuln from... Uh, let's find out. I can't, and I kind of uh, I kind of like that. If I self damage with the rod of discord, uh, the hallowed armor passive, the set bonus can't protect me from that damage, and I wouldn't want it to, because I want it to protect me from a really big hit. That's good to know. Speaking of life, we need 10 more to max out our health. Where 
am I going? That's actually the bulb over there. safe in this little hidey hole. I'm letting too many enemies show up though. So the plan is break the bulb, get down this way, get over here, maybe even all the way down here depending on how comfortably we can teleport around. I should probably take a calming potion. Featherfall might be good as well. Just for more aerial control. Grav potion is not going to be that great right now. Summoning because why not? Uh, I don't have any, you know what, let's grab him. Armored cave fish turns into endurance potion, fantastic, refresh our cake. For some reason most of the enemies are gone, I'll take it. And let's activate all buffs. That's not where I wanted Plantera to show up immediately. Looks like the bulb is bigger than I'm used to. Alright, so we're going down here. Let's heal already. And... and uh, just drag her over to where we're going to have a lot more space to fight. Actually, if I damage her, she'll shoot through the wall. I don't really want that. I can't get too far ahead, otherwise she'll despawn. Uh, yeah, this is this is where we're gonna try and fight. All right. And so... it's on. Oh wow, that's that's super fast. It was a good choice to take uh, Featherfall. Were there two of them? I hope not. No, I think we're good. Holy crap! Also, what the heck is that? What? What the? One of the little tiny... Okay, first of all... That thing that split off from her, all those little tiny things... Moved really fast all of a sudden. In this general direction. What the heck is all that? Uh, and also... One of those little tiny things moving rapidly past me dealt 300 damage. What the hell? It was looking pretty easy until that moment. Oh, now we have to wait for another bulb. Just to have the privilege of attempting that again. I guess I'd better go and see what the heck that pink stuff is. I have a bad feeling about it. Did I just waste food? What caused it to make the crunchy noise twice? Hopefully not. 
Okay, let's get our common potions. Um, that'll do for now, I guess. recognize these actually yeah they're really nasty versions of the damaging spiky brush stuff that plantera spawns do they normally disappear after a fight with her It's not that big of a deal, actually. Alright. So... What? Was that just a random... No. No, 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 no. Didn't I have the... I had the Grand Design equipped. display red wires bright didn't I have it set up so that red wires are always bright I did. What? How the heck did I not see the trap? That was pretty strange. I, I really don't know why we've got traps that I can't see with the grand design. Terraria appears to be the only game that makes t hex upset. It's It's got some bad difficulty, I'm not going to lie. So, uh, unless you're in the uh, the jungle temple, there's an exception to that. Um, once you've got the grand design or like the mechanical lens, which is a prerequisite to this, you can see wires all the time, which means it's a lot harder to run into traps like that. Maybe it's a function of the seed? I could have sworn I remembered removing wires from dungeon traps with this, though. Maybe it was using different colors? I'll have to check. Except I need... well, no, I know exactly where I can check. If there are wires here, we can go and see them. Um, all right, cheap potions. That'll do. Did I already 
really say hello to Sigma Bean? No. Sigma Bean, welcome back. Alright, so down we go. Don't forget, refresh minions. Take another life fruit, absolutely. And Dominate TV, thank you for the follow. Where are we going? What? Bloody weapon switch. Oh wow, that hit hard. Okay. 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 I don't really want to waste a potion on that. Shane, thank you for the follow. This stuff is really nasty. Okay, oh, speaking of nasty, holy crap. Okay, so this is where we died. Hey, could, could you stop for just a minute, please? Trying to trying to figure something out here. Give me that life fruit. Um, let me just put this on forced. Now I can see the red wire. Oh, it was because it was in my slot up here, I think. Okay, that's my bad, I guess. I really wish it were possible. That's I think that's our first turtle shell. I really wish it were possible to set... Um, I don't know. Make it so that when I'm at base, this isn't set to show all of the wires. Because I think if we're on forced display... Um... Yeah, we can't completely remove the display of any color of wire. And I want everything but red wire to be invisible. Oh no, 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 bad. Don't teleport into this nasty stuff. a whole lot of it down here so we really really don't want to be treading like changing direction and going back we don't want to be treading the same uh the same space that we've already covered fighting against plantera on this seed more so than usual considering that we've got the bubble gun um and just how quickly we can kill Plantera. That shouldn't really be an issue. If we're aggressive but careful. Yeah, this is why I like to turn this display off. Like, I, I don't want all of this crap in my face. But I do want the fancy... Um... I do want the fancy stuff at home. Really surprised that you can't set it up in a way that just works still. Uh, turtle shell, we need three. Do something useful, if I recall correctly. 
Yeah, turtle shell plus chlorophyte bar makes the turtle set. But trying to be a tank on higher difficulties doesn't really work at all. I did? Oh, okay. Um, so I think we can teleport back now. Need to find a quiet spot. Get rid of all this crap. Oh, didn't see that coming. So I still want to lure, uh, I think I still want to lure Plantera into this area to fight. Uh, and basically I'll do the same thing except I will not be trying to go back the way I came and get past Plantera slash go around her. We're just going to try and fight her just a little bit until we can kill her very very quickly at short range with the bubble gun. I don't know what the hell was going on with the movement of the the piece of Plantera that one-shot us, the one that was separate. Um, but we'll probably be able to avoid that better if we're not doubling back. So now I just need to find another bulb again. Which could be a marathon of a process. Actually, this is just our second bulb, isn't it? Pretty sure the tendon... Yeah, there we go. Alright. Plantera bulb. Spawns way too slowly. You don't have to be a speedrunner to be annoyed at how long it takes to find a bulb, honestly. Holy crap. Good job, minions. Not. You know what? Let's go back so that we can... Well, I was going to say so that we could look at the map safely. Uh, with the Blood Moon, that's questionable. Uh, we could perhaps... We could perhaps do some Blood Moon fishing, though. Let's do that. Why did I pick up a glass lamp just now? Once we get full health, we'll go to the ocean. Minions are going absolute ham. And we fish. Let's get a sonar potion, actually. I'm surprised how low I am on... Sonar potions. We're looking for Dread Nautilus and nothing else.
Whoops. That's fine. Let's get some light. Maybe I should switch to fishing mode. No, let's not take a risk like that. Come on, Dread Nautilus. Don't do me like this. Not again. I keep deciding last minute that yes, I do actually want a crate, but then it's too late. Murderous Blood Rainbow. Blood Eel? That's one of the harder ones. But it's not that great, actually. Well, we got some gold out of it. Just want one dread nautilus, please. Dread nautilus, dread nautilus. There we go. Can I get it to chase me? No. I just have to wait for it to chase me. It's actually surprisingly easy once you realize Shield of Cthulhu will cause you to parry it when it unavoidably catches up to you. That, that could have gone badly. Unfortunately, this doesn't count as a boss. There's no... You can't see it on the mini-map. Where the hell did it go? Please don't tell me it got far enough away to despawn. Uh, I forgot about that part of it. It spams the entire screen with projectiles, which hurt you significantly. Um, but you're punished for getting away from it. The whole fight is forfeit. Oh, and it also chases you like a screen and a half. It'll catch up with you basically instantly when it bothers to do that attack. But try to keep a respectable distance from it. Nope, it's going to despawn. It's also ridiculously hard to fish up. It can take the entire night to not fish up one of these. And at 4.30am, if you're in the middle of fighting it, it will leave. So it's a very tight balancing act of staying close enough, but surviving. I 
Is it going to attack or what? There we go. And we at least got the Sanguine Star first try. Fantastic. Alright, so... Uh, one of the best summons in the game, especially for when you can get it. It won't deal as much damage as our Sharknadoes. However... Where's Sharknado? There's so many. Here we go. Sanguine Staff. It is only 50 summon damage as opposed to 84. But rather than throwing out projectiles that drop, that do pierce, but um, projectiles that drop and can miss and so on. Um, what we have here are some extreme, extremely reliable, much less DPS, but no matter how far away you are from something, they will find it, and they'll ping it and bump it back a little bit. This is about the only summon that will reliably deal some damage to bosses. Uh, that you're fighting up in the sky. Um, it might be worth... Oh, that was close. It might be worth... Getting some more summon potions. Just so we can have three of these out. What is it? Varig variegated bloodfish, right? I think we have to. S I think we have to fish those up underground in the jungle, which is pretty damn dangerous now. Oh, I have a portal there. Let's go. I can't believe I've still got the umbrella equipped. I just totally forgot about it, to be honest. Okay, that's not what I want. Shoot, shoot. I guess we're, if we're relying on our minions for damage, things will be better. There's one. I've got a bunch of chaos fish. I want to do um, some random teleports as well. See what we find. Oh my god, the nanosecond that I go to grab a drink or scratch my nose or something. Alright. I think we got like two or three varigrated. I want to see how this handles Uh, with three sanguine bats. Nice. And I should probably keep it in here or something. Also, I haven't upgraded it yet. The sanguine stuff. It's kind of expensive, though. Um, we're looking for ruthless, preferably. Oh, 
I don't think you get the knockback bonus. Maybe they changed it. 14%? That'll do. Alright. So we're going to go for three Sanguine Bats. And see what they're like for knocking enemies back. Obviously there's kind of a exponential curve of how effective that is. Not bad. I think the Sharknado is still better, even in... Uh, even discounting how they miss and stuff. Except in boss fights where they are never going to hit anything. But yeah, the reliable suppression from these things is pretty handy though. And they'll like immediately hit enemies that you didn't even notice. And not they they fail to miss all the time. Kind of kind of a tough choice, honestly. go somewhere safe so that we can find a plantera bulb. Assuming that there's one visible in the vast tangled jungle. This is really taking its time. Also, I'm a little worried that those uh, nasty pink spiky bushes... Like, didn't Plantera follow us down this way? So it seems like they can spawn anywhere while we're in the middle of that boss fight. That's a life crystal. Alright, I'm just gonna grab a drink real quick. Okay. Once more. 
looking for plantera bulbs. Too many life crystals lying around. That's a detonator. We found our first one up here, wasn't it? Spawn rate on these is really, really bad. I can't progress until one of these damn bulbs spawn. Preferably in a location that we can actually reach it and then get somewhere where we could potentially fight. Well, I guess I could look for more max health. We only need seven more to get the absolute maximum. But I think in the jungle... Oh, I've been wasting potion time this whole time. Two minutes left. Um, but yeah, I think we will go back into the jungle. Got a traveling merch. Pretty sure we already had all of that. Oh. Well. There's our bulb. Um, That's awfully close to the surface. And with a very easy path to get, get up there unless she spawns on this side. Shall we try a flying fight with Plantera? Um, I'm kind of leaning towards it. Because otherwise I would have to drag her down, like all the way down here for somewhere with a bit of space. I think we're going to try killing her on the surface. And I don't have any excuses to put it, put it off right now. We've got max health. We've got every potion we could ask for. Uh, it'd get a little bit more sugar rush. It's not that big of a deal, to be honest. We'll re-up our summon duration, because why not? We'll get invulnerability, and we will break her to the surface. Very, holy crap, I was going to say very carefully, but she gets, she suddenly gets very fast. Uh, are we good? Yeah. We just have to stay high enough. Is that hitting her? Maybe not. They may have gone a little too high. I remember this being a little bit easier. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine. We only have to get her down to half health. Or she'll stop shooting at us. Let's 
It's not that bad, actually. That was a bit careless. We're almost down to 50%. And up we go. I don't think I hit her. Need to get a little closer. There we go. Now it's easy mode. As long as we don't run out of uh, gravity potion. I have to say, um, I'm pretty sure I would have been dead if not for Rod of Discord. When she suddenly wants to, she gets ridiculously fast um, chasing us towards the surface. But that's it. That's Plantera. With no arena. On For the Worthy. Will's Helmet. Vanity item. Okay then. Let me just put some stuff away so I can make more room. Stack away the crate. Um, shoot. Apparently we didn't have a seaside crate yet. What's this? Crab banner? Chuck the summoning potions in here. We're going to find 600,000 yellets. Let's just quick stack. Put it in here so it'll quick stack. Moss Hornet Banner, I guess, can go in the collection. There's like too many places that I would want to place that, but I can't be bothered. And. Intrepid. Will's wings allows flight and slow fall. What's our max height from ground with fish run wings? 616. And with these wings, uh, only 413. But I think all of these sets you can find. I can't remember what I was killing. But it was something pre-hard mode. If you're very, very lucky, you can get some shockingly good wings. Uh, we do, of course, have the spore sack and the key. Temple key. We got the pygmy staff, which is not a bad summon, but we've got a much better one because fish run. Uh, nettle burst is kind of a weird spell. Actually, I think it's a much stronger Vile Thorn, basically. But I never really bother with that type of weapon by the time I'm, you know, killed Plantera. Alright, put this away for now. Vanity stuff can go here. Nettle burst, I guess, go in the magic damage collection. I think I've only made like one out of three or four items that the Star Cloak turns into. Actually, zero. No, one. I made a Star Veil. 
haven't made a mana cloak. I think I like the magnet flower better anyway. But we can make one of those. It actually kind of looks nice for the aesthetic for a mage. Let's put it down here. And now we need to go to the temple. It's going to be easiest to travel this way. I'm going to need that temple key. And time to get ready to kill Gollum. Gollum should be a pushover even in For the Worthy, unless something is significantly different. Unless you're speedrunning or something. If you can kill Plantera, you can kill Gollum. If you know how he moves and stuff. Is that the temple? Yes it is. Haven't actually found the entrance yet, have I? Um, probably quicker to go this way rather than dig. That was a waste. Off we go. Get some mining potion. That's more like it. Is that a. It's not a mimic or anything. Can't be a trap chest, can it? No. Is that? Oh, it's uh, lizard stuff on the outside. I think my take buff ran out. That's why our digging speed just dropped. There's the entrance. Why is it so dark all of a sudden? Oh, nasty. As soon as we go into the temple, it gets super dark like this. Also, there are really powerful traps like these uh, in the temple, and the forced mechanical display uh, doesn't do anything until we've beaten it. The enemies are incredibly easy to deal with. If you've killed Plantera, you've got the DPS to remove these things. They do a lot of damage, but you have to be asleep to let them touch you. Uh, what I'm really struggling with here, though, is seeing where the touch plates are. I need to close that door. 
Actually, I think they can just knock the door down, right? No? Whatever the case, let's put some mud on that side. Alright, if we land on the chest, we are not landing on a touch plate. And... My... I hate that my invulnerability makes these ghosts appear. It's really distracting. Hard to see through. But yeah, we're just gonna... Dig away these touch plates as if we're playing on hardcore. There's never a touch plate on a slope. I'm just going to dig up everything to ensure that there's no touch plate. Shield of Cthulhu, no. Bad. I have to be very deliberate about my slow movement, otherwise I'll dash. Alright, this room's clear. down this way. Hmm. You know what would be good right now? Flamethrower. Just as a light source, unless I can think of something better. And I can't. Let's make the flamethrower. I believe we need iron, or lead, souls of fright, hallowed bars perhaps, um, let's see, Illegal gun parts and 20 iron bars. Alright. I think I've got illegal gun parts in here. Just in case I suddenly want them during the day, which I do. Uh, and there's our flamethrower. So that'll use gel as ammo. Oh, yeah. I haven't actually tried the new flamethrower as a light source. I guess we're going to find out if it's any good. It's not the worst. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe I should just look for touch plates when I've got invulnerability. It might be a little bit faster. Because there's always enemies coming in willing to give us a refresh on that. Oh, that was close. This is also one way to do it. I 
Crit invulnerability. I have no idea where there could be touch plates here. Oh god. Holy crap. That thing almost one hit me. Not a fan. I'm not a fan of the way it flew in either. Super fast. Like bouncing off the walls. That's a lot of crap. I think I'll just leave it in the void bag for now. Still not back at full health. Once we kill Gollum, we get a thing that heals us really, really quickly if we stand still. It'd be nice if that appeared earlier in the game, or a weaker version of it. Getting through the temple, um, I have to say, is... Uh, I don't know if it's only like this on some of the hard seeds, or if this is just new, period. Um, but getting through the temple when it's dark like this is honestly a lot harder and scarier than killing Gollum. You know what? Settings... Uh, video, is it? Blood and gore off. Because this crap all over the floor when I'm desperately needing to look for touch plates. Not a fan of that, actually. Bad input for dash. Especially when there's no walk key. Right. If we land on a statue, then we know we're not landing on a touch plate. Holy crap. Let's zoom out a little bit. That's really annoying. I literally went into my inventory for one second and then we had one of these guys like just bouncing off of that tile, leaping really, really fast. They're very inconsistent with the way they approach like that, especially combined with the way the Tempest stuff is. Maybe I'll eschew damage or reliability for minions for now. Now I have to travel back there. Ugh. Could we not have something like that literally one hit kill me? I have to say, out of everything in this seed, that is the least compelling difficulty adjustment. Where's my honey? And we may as well get another minion.
Yeah, I mean, the... The change in the Eye of Cthulhu, um, and especially, especially the King Slime and some of the other bosses, they had some nice little tweaks that obviously some thought went into. Uh, some of the bosses have just been the exact same, but deal more damage, pretty much. Like, Fishron wasn't really any different. Skeletron Prime was just a cruel joke. Destroying the terrain and our lovely base. I don't remember anything being different about the twins or the destroyer. This is incredibly annoying. There we go. Uh, but just changing changing the numbers so that common enemies one-hit kill us. Really not impressed with that. Oh, I guess technically, I think I saw it say 495 damage. So maybe if I was on the absolute maximum that we can have with this loadout might have survived it if we're lucky depending on dice rolls Yeah, that right there. I don't know why he was so immune to knockback or didn't take enough damage like the others did before he got up, got up speed. Should be using the bubble gun more, probably. Alright. This little bottleneck here seems almost custom designed to make them leap at us from the dark while we're trying to look for touch plates. I really want to hoover up everything over here though. An instinct that I should probably ignore. But it's done now. Yeah, bubble gun is actually much better than razor blade here. Assuming that we're in a position where it can reach. Those bouncy spiky things are nasty. Get some light here. Oh good, we're at the point where there's a million of them spawned on the level above us. Which means their effective spawn rate down here is drastically reduced. Which means we can actually look for the touch plates. They really went from 0 to 100 by making it so that you couldn't see where the traps are. Touch plates right there. Bubble gun OP. 
Gotta watch out for this guy. Almost there. Not even half. Mm. Maybe I could. You know what? Since we've used the temple key and we've got the rod of discord, why don't I try skipping straight to the boss room from below? Can I do that? This is where I should have brought one of those uh, sentries I was talking about. Um, ow. The ones that can be used for vision. Uh, rip honey. I didn't mean to do that. It's fine. Now there's another plant terrible. Alright. Inventory's crying. I don't need a worm right now. What am I dropping? Touch plate. Uh, do I even need to keep digging though? Let's see if we can... Oh, that's a life fruit. Gimme, give gimme. Give I only need five more. Uh, but yeah, I think what I'll do is grab... Wait, I have to earn it first. I think I spent all my tokens. No, we've got a few. Uh, we've got 11. No, I've already got the cheap, the, the low level lightning aura rod. Nice. So, with this thing, we can look for empty space. I hope they didn't add a really, really thick layer of brick down the bottom just in case someone tries this. Hunter Potion would be good. Once I can see the uh, enemies spawning inside, we'll know there's a chamber. get hit by one of those. It'll kill you super fast on regular difficulty. chamber there. And we're almost at the end. Also, uh-oh, uh-oh, it's not working. Oh god, oh no. Uh, if I can find somewhere I can teleport to. There we go. Unfortunately, it's straight into a bat. But by doing this, I can actually uh, stop all the Zerg lizards from spawning while I'm trying to f get through in the dark.
I can also see up there much better while I'm outside the temple. They really did add a very thick um, outside to it, though. There it is. Okay. That's a lot of arrows. Maybe I should have reconsidered this. Oh my god. The chamber's rather large. There could still be touch plates in here. Unfortunately, it's large enough for enemies to be spawning in the room with me. What's going to be harder than the boss fight is getting to the point where we're ready to do the boss fight. Get rid of the spikes. Get rid of any touch plates. I haven't seen any traps in here yet. Doesn't mean they're not there. We definitely want to shut the front door. That'll do. Here safely. Do they make it so that there's no traps in the guardian room, or is it just a coincidence? It used to be the rule that there'd be a lot of traps in here. I think that's only our second philosopher's. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Philosopher's Stone? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think we've actually... cleared the room. Shockingly no traps. I don't need any more blink root seeds. Um, Inferno Potion really doesn't do that much. I just want to clear this and take it with us. Probably should have brought glow sticks in hindsight. If I'd thought about it ahead of time, um, with how ridiculously dark it is when we're in here. Definitely would have been the way to go. Alright, so this is really good right here that we've got all these enemies um, because they're keeping enemies from spawning elsewhere. Um, make sure we don't have any spikes on the ceiling or something. Oh, good. And... Double gun's not the best golem. I don't want to be that close to it. Razorblade Typhoon's pretty good for the first stage where it's got the multiple pieces to hit. But maybe we should switch over to Tsunami after that. In which case... I think I'll swap this out for generic damage. Also, give me some honey. Apparently I didn't have a spare... Oh! Doesn't 
Doesn't one more obsidian rose mean that I can make terra spark boots? Or what am I missing? Water walking. Um, I think I need a molten charm. That's also a pain to get. I'm not going to go out of my way for that just for a second. An unnecessary pair of terra spark boots. For the f fishing. Although I should probably have better than fledgling wings on the fishing loadout by now. Let's go with one of the dev wings. Sinks's wings. There we go. Alright. What was I coming back here for? What was I coming back here for? Damage? Oh yeah, thank you. So I'm going to take Warrior Emblem. Where, where's the Warrior Emblem? Oh, that was a weird place to put it. And... Maybe bring this as well. We're going to turn Warrior Emblem into generic damage emblem whatever it's called avenger emblem 12 percent increased damage and then we need a reroll because i'm going to use a bit of both warding Sure, we'll go for warding. And I think I'll go for ranged for a little bit more damage, a uh, little bit more defense as well. I will use, I was going to say I'd use Razorblade Typhoon for the first section, but in retrospect... kind of arrows would I use? We don't have venom yet, do we? Oh yeah, we do. We do. It doesn't pierce, though. I don't think I need it to. We'll use the Razor Blade Typhoon for the multi hit. So now all it takes is money to get best direct damage arrows. Venom arrow. Although, I think the golem's going to be immune to any kind of poison. Um, but that's not going to be that much of a big deal. We still get very high direct damage from this. What does Cursed do? 27. Okay. Alternatively, I could use... Um, Actually, I want to run this experiment. We're going to use Hellfire Arrows. Because I think they're going to hit the three segments decently. And maybe I'll switch them after that. They are not that expensive. Let's 
Put him up here. Easier to swap the ammo type. I could use a bunch of landmines as well. I don't think they're going to do much. Oh, what the hell. Let's try something different. Alright. Back in we go. Jesus Christ. Okay, apparently I can place a landmine directly under my feet uh, that'll just instantly explode. I didn't... I didn't think it worked that way. Um, actually, that was a bit odd. Um... Yeah, that was, uh, that was different. Okay, let's heal up real quick. Alright, back we go. This time with much greater care. And... Oh my god, Jesus Christ. I think this will be the last experiment I run with landmines. Alright. We do have the power cells here at least. And it's time. Oh, it is so dark. Even with all the torches, I can't see crap. I'm, I'm glad I'm using a grab potion. Because I don't know what's going on. Where am I going to... How am I going to aim at him? Um... You know what? I think we should use mage damage. We're not we're not gonna be aiming any arrows this fight. I'm just gonna kinda of move like do some stochastic dodging here. So far so decent. Now we're taking damage. Okay. We're halfway there though. I think... Oh, yep. The head is down here now. Okay. Uh, why am I on magic missile? Okay. 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 I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This golem is not a pushover. That was ridiculous. What the f- I'm supposed to- I'm so- I'm supposed to fight him blindfolded? Bruh. That was nasty. Did he remove the torches? The torches are gone. What what would happen if I tried to place torches while I fight? That I, I I I have to say that is uh 
That is not what I was expecting. That is a boss that they changed in a significant and uh, novel way. Hmm. But <sighs> tentatively, the trouble is, I think I was on the right track. I think I was doing that right, I just didn't execute dodging well enough at the end. Because what else am I going to change about how I fight him? I was going to say what kind of spells do I have that are light sources, but... The Razorblade Typhoon is a light source. It's actually a pretty decent one. Let's go somewhere dark. Yeah. That is not nothing. But it was effectively nothing against that boss. You can't actually hit the head when it's floating. So even if I was using homing bullets, and we could see the traces, uh, it wouldn't be telling me where the head is. Mm, this one is a conundrum. What if I teleported outside of the arena? Would he move through walls to follow me? I've never tried anything like that with Gollum. Pretty sure if I teleport home, he'll despawn. Yeah, I... I wish it wasn't so, but I'm pretty sure I was already doing everything I should be doing. Maybe there's like one or two little things I could come up that would be marginally helpful. I could try placing torches after the fight starts. I seriously doubt it's going to help. I think the torches are going to get removed. Like, during the fight. So, who knows? Maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. Also, uh, if it's just torches that get removed, maybe if we placed, for example, chandeliers... Or some other light source. Like, what about lava for light sources? I, I seriously doubt he's going to remove lava. But I suspect... Even if there's some kind of light source in there... Um... I suspect... The room's going to be pitch black and we're not going to be able to see the Guardian... Regardless... Well, I could certainly put some lava in there, for starters. That actually would give us a nice flat surface if we wanted to go to the ground, which I generally don't, but... We could certainly give that a look. That at least might act as a light source that doesn't get removed. I'll just double check, but I think I've got, yeah, infinite lava right there. Uh, I've still got a ludicrous number of potion of returns, I'll just use one. One of the nice things about streaming Terraria is I don't almost make these too awesome to use in my head, because I don't want to waste the viewer's time. Alright, here we go. Hmm. 
We can definitely tell where the ground is. Now then. I hope all the explosives got removed. I do have a lava absorbent sponge, I just remembered. I can I can be a bit more careless with this. Let's just fill it up to the point where it's all flat. That's also gonna prevent us from having to deal with these guys. more than enough. We should still be able to summon the golem. I think it like I think I like it better when they just can't come in. Lava is not anywhere near enough of a d deterrent for these guys. Oh. Is this going to let them in because they get shorter? It's going to take too long to find out. I think it does, though. Let's get the sponge. Oh, I don't have it here? I do have it here. Shoo. Oh my god, go away. Now everything's in the void bag. Oh no, it's you. Are you just gonna not stop? There you go. Alright. Should be able to put a piece of wood here. And now they can't get through, I'm pretty sure. Alright. Lava absorbent sponge. What the? Did I just fall through the... Um... No, no, no. I'm on the right side of it. I thought I'd... I thought... I almost thought I'd invented some kind of glitch tech there, but it was just the... the left side. The ghost... graphic... of my player character. Is that going to level out or what? Alright, the other thing I want to try is alternative light sources. If it's going to remove torches, maybe it won't check for everything else.
Is that a lizard banner? Maybe not. Alright, glass chandelier. Let's see what I'm doing. Okay. And then we'll see if all of those light sources disappear. I certainly hope not after how much how many resources I spent on them. Okay. think we're ready. Uh, I could do a 10%, I, I could go farm and do a 10% damage reduction potion, but like, I think we're going to die in two hits anyway. And I'm more interested in the sides before we finish the stream today. Okay. Oh, we do have a flying snake banner. There we go. All right, how many potions do we have? Plenty. This is it. Well, we can at least see where our floor is, but... I don't think our little lights here are accomplishing anything. And they are getting removed. Look at that. When the golem passes the uh, torches, they do get removed. That was bad. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Well, that's going to be a nasty fight. That's gone from one of the easiest fights in the game to one of the hardest. I don't think... Uh... I don't know of any other options I have there. I could try other light sources and see if he doesn't delete them. Um, how many other light sources are there that would go just on the wall all over the place? I suspect we'd end up just seeing a black outline against the wall at best. I could I could go for some kind of glowing wall. Um, let's see. Where is glowing mushroom? That's a pretty mild light source, but it is a light source. Mushroom wall? And if we really want to get serious, we can go for, like, Demonite or Crimtain. Um, we can do Diamond Blocks as a light source. I could try putting Diamond Torches here and seeing if he only deletes, like, generic torches. Uh, I guess I'm falling back on the whole no boss fight arena. I can't put walls here. Yeah, I should have thought of that. Can I delete these walls with a hammer? Nope. 
Okay, I'm not too surprised by that. Mm -hmm. Um, I could try, try putting like diamond torches and see if he only deletes the generic torches slash biome torches um, when he passes them. I guess those other glowing blocks aren't going to be an option if I can't put mushroom walls down. Yeah, I'm just going to go through every possible light source that I could put on the walls here and see if he won't remove them. Diamond torches, believe it or not, are very cheap. Once you've got a farm going. Do you, do you know your stuff in Terraria? I've got a question. Uh, somewhat. Kvortzi? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I seriously doubt, even if I do get away with adding these light sources, I seriously have my doubts about how useful they're going to be. Because we should have been able to see the uh, dungeon guardian, uh, the temple guardian, the golem rather. We should have been able to see him just because of Razorblade Typhoon's light source as well. But if I could like, for example, saturate the wall with uh, diamond torches and those don't get removed, even if it just shows like a black silhouette, will still be able to see where he is, and more importantly, where his head is. It's worth a try. Um, I'm a little bit too fascinated by trying to figure this one out to stick to the no boss fight arenas rule here. And we already kind of showed that um, with the first fight, like, if I'd just, just done the exact same thing, but been a little bit more skillful or lucky with the dodging uh, right towards the end, um, that would have been it. We would have won. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be it for today. Let's see who else is playing Terraria. I've just passed Golem in hard mode, and I just completed Old One's army. Betsy gave me the sword with huge base damage, with projectiles that go through wall. I also have Terrorbraid. Which one should I use? Um, I don't really use melee that much. Did you actually kill Betsy without... Was it solo? Did you kill Betsy solo without Moonlord gear? That's impressive. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you had the DPS, because she just doesn't die fast enough, and the crystal goes down without Moonlord gear. That was my experience, anyway. Um... Having trouble deciding on someone to raid. Hate owls. We're not raiding that person. Who would hate an owl? Um, it's all very generic. The titles people have for their Terrari streams and stuff. I'm not seeing anyone doing a comparable challenge run or anything. a nice looking build though. Everything Seed Master Mode Challenge? Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can chat here.
Seems good. Jungle or bullets? I used Shroomite armor, Terra Blade, and Mega Shark. Mega Shark, really? I don't know how your crystal lasted long enough. <laughs> All right, let's drop in on this person and see how it goes. Struggling with the Steam achievement for fifteen rounds of Pumpkin Moon. You got Betsy solo, but that's where you're struggling. I don't understand. I don't mean any offense by that. Alright, let's go. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're into that. Or Factorio, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. Take care, guys. You fucking god, Teddy.